Hello everyone and welcome to my latest tutorial. Now today's tutorial features De Jong uh, in his Holland kit, he's a Barcelona player. Uh, however, we're just going for an international break at the minute and uh, I thought I'd do uh, something a little bit international football themed. Now, something a little bit different uh, I'm going to start the tutorial with today. Um, so if you're new to my channel or if you've followed me for a long time, you're obviously here uh, because you want to learn how to do sports edits. Now, a good way to learn how to do sports edits is obviously to find a YouTube channel like myself or uh, plenty of others and uh, follow along and slowly, as you uh, begin to progress, uh, you get better and you get a workflow and you uh, then can start to produce your own work. However, what a good way uh, to learn is to try and look at an image and try and break it down yourself. Now, I was sent an image similar to this and it was this one and I get a lot of people send me images asking me for tutorials on stuff and... I would love to do every single one that everyone sends me and it can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes trying to sadly disappoint people just because of the amount of images that people send me. However, two people sent me this one which uh, was quite unusual. I've never had two people send me one image before. I don't know who did it. I couldn't find a watermark when it, when it got sent. Uh, however, it's uh, a nice image and I thought, yeah, I'll create something similar to that. Now, obviously when I get sent an image, I break it down and I have a look and I see, right, how was it made? And that's what I would like you to do today with this image. So as you can see, I've hidden the layers palette. So before I carry on with the tutorial, what I would like you to do is, it's entirely up to you if you want to do this, pause the video, open Photoshop, and try and cre create an image similar to this. I'll link the image of De Jong uh, below. Uh, don't worry too much if you get the colors wrong or right, and I'll link the paint brushes below. Um, but try and have a go and see if you can create this image. Look at how I've broke it down. Look at um, possible things uh, to help you, um, and how you would go about making this image. Or you can just do it in your head, uh, think about right how I would do this, and then watch the tutorial and follow along. So it's something a little bit different uh, if you want to try and do it something like that. And uh, that's how I learned. Initially, I started looking at images and following along from YouTube channels many years ago, and when I first got into sports editing. Um, but yeah, that's uh, a little challenge that I want to uh, try and set you. But without further ado, I'm going to get into it. So I'm just going to open up my layers palette. And you can see it's not too complicated. Okay, we've just got a background colour, we've got some strokes, uh, we've got a few effects, and uh, we've got De Jong. So I'm going to press Command N because I'm working on a new Mac. And this opens up a new document. And I'm going to go 10, 1080 by 1080 as I believe they are the best resolutions for Instagram. 144 resolution pixels per inch, RGB color 8 bit and click OK. Now I'm just going to get rid of that little padlock and I'm just going to sample a color here so I'm going to press I on my eyedropper. It's going to bring up this teal color. Okay so it's just over here on my swatch and you'll notice it's over here now on my palette and that hex number is 4FAEB1. 4FAEB1. Okay, and I'm going to press Alt on my keyboard and Backspace, and that's going to fill it. If you notice, I've got a dark blue there. If you press Command and Backspace, that fills the rear uh, palette. So Alt and Backspace will fill it there. Uh, now, what I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in De Jong. Got this image from Footy Renders. Link will be in the description below, and I'm going to place him somewhere like that. I'm going to hit enter, and while I've got him up there, I'm going to select my background layer. I'm going to select this icon down here for a new layer. Okay, I'm going to hit B for my brush tool. I'm going to double click if I'm, I'm on a Mac or right click if you're on Windows. Okay, and I've got some paint brushes, 20 called 20 painter brushes. Okay, if you want to install them, okay, go download them on the link below. Select this little icon here, import brushes, and then just wherever you've uh, installed them, wherever you've downloaded them, and just click them, and they'll pop up here. So I think it was, let's have a flick through. Okay, we'll go with uh, brush number two. Okay, it's entirely up to you uh, what you would like to go with. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flatten it out a little bit, make it a little bit more of a pancake, maybe not as much. Change the direction of it there. I think that looks a little bit better. 
Just command Z there. And I'm going to select this orange colour here. Now you can just uh, sample it by pressing I on your eyedropper tool. Okay, but we've gone for F17014. F17014. Okay, so uh, hit me on my brush tool there. I flattened it out. And let's see what that looks like. And I'm going to turn your flow up. And that's looking okay. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to paint some across. Something like that. And I'm going to go again all the way down. You can also do is right click, you can swap it around as well, just so it's not as uniform. Yeah, I like the look of that. Make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, I'm going to have a little bit on the bottom, just there, maybe. A smidge at the top okay um yeah i'm happy with how that looks and what i've also done is i've got this deep blue so if you're familiar with the the dutch kit the away kit i believe they've got a dark blue color and i've gone for 112 f5a 112 f5a okay i'm going to use the same brush um there's a massive selection of brushes feel free to go through them all obviously there's 20 brushes you can change the sizes um and whatnot it's entirely up to you and I'm using the bracket keys on my keyboard. I'm just making it a little bit smaller. And I'm just painting little bits on, just to add a little bit of variety, nothing more than that. And again, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flip it over. I'm just gonna play around with the brushes. And just about trying to get a little bit creative. Yeah. And I'll flip it once more. Just go, go there. Okay, uh, looking good. So, um, apologies. What I, what you can do is as well do that on a different layer. Okay, I've done that on the same layer there by mistake. Um, but you can create a new layer and then uh, do your do your deep blue onto that. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cover this ball. As well, so we're going to select a nice yellow color. In fact, I'm going to go to the ellipse tool. Okay, you can press U on your keyboard, and the fill I'm going to use is this yellow color. And the hex code for that, let's get it up, is FFFF4F00 or OO. It's just the uh, the yellow color in the top corner there. Okay, and what I'm going to do is got my ellipse tool. I'm going to hold shift. In fact, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to hold shift down. I'm going to hover just over here on the top left. I'm just going to drag. Yep, and what I'm going to do is this ellipse layer, I'm going to drag above the Frankie de Young layer. I press Command T to bring up my transform tool. And I'm just going to put it there like that. And press Enter again. And that's the ball. Done. Something just as simple as that. Go back to your, your paints layer. Okay. Um, I'm going to select a new layer. Got my new layer there. I'm going to hit D on my keyboard and it resets my palette to black and white. I'm going to hit B for my brush tool and I'm going to go to the general soft round brush pre installed. I'm going to drop it down so it's a nice pancake. I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light using my bracket keys to reduce the size. I'm just going to tap just there. The flow in the opacity is on 100%. And again, if you haven't got a, um, a paint line there, it'll just uh, it'll just appear black on the teal. It'll appear something like that. But just gone the darker orange, just because that's where we are. And we'll give it one for the ball as well. Press command zero, resize it, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. What we can do is for Frankie de Jong, we can add a little bit of shadow to him. So I'm going to go to the adjustments layers there. I'm going to go to brightness and contrast. I'm going to clip it. 
so this means it only works directly on the layer below. I'm going to change the brightness down to minus 150 and the contrast up to 100. This gives him, obviously it's gone quite dark. Got our little box selected here. Notice it's clipped with this little arrow. Okay. You can also hold Alt and hover between the layers and that will uh, adjust the brightness and contrast. Okay, what I'm going to do is, because I've got black selected over here, I'm going to hold Alt and Backspace, and that's going to fill it black. So that's layer masked it. But then we're going to unlayer mask it now. It sounds a little bit complicated, but um, it's pretty simple. So we're going to go back to that soft round brush. Okay, I'm going to reduce the flow down to, we'll go down to about 10. We'll try that. Now, I'm going to swap those colors over. So I've got there, so you can press X to change the colors over. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to paint down. I'm not going to go too much onto his boot, just maybe on the bottom there. He's got white boots on. And you see the shadow and the brightness and contrast. So we're painting that brightness and contrast, that dark shading back on. And it's just a nice little effect. for something like that and we'll probably do under his arms as well and this arm and you can exaggerate it as much as you want press command zero let's go back out let's have a look and you see we've added uh, some shadow there and it's just something as simple as that. I'm also going to add a curves adjustment layer as well. So I'm just going to change the tone of his skin a little bit. So I'm just going to select one in the middle. Just drop it down a fraction. Bring this end up a little bit. This end in on the RGB. And then I'm going to go to red as well. I'm going to do something similar. Okay, this might not uh, work with different players, different kits, um, but it's just something I like to have a little play around with. And what other features did we have? We had curves, Frankie to Young, and yeah, we're pretty much there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the text. So I'm going to select the top layer, new layer, T for my keyboard, and I'm using Akira Expanded, I'll link this in the description below. Um, make sure it's white, and we'll go with De, and we'll just Command A to highlight it. I'm gonna drop it down like that, and then if you select your move tool there, Command T, in fact, go back, press T, go back to my uh, tool, command A. I'm just going to reduce the size just a fraction. There we go, we'll go to 97. Back to my move tool at the top. And what we're going to do is, we're going to bring in the rulers. So we've got the uh, DE selected. Okay, if you don't see a ruler there, press command R. And they'll pop in and out, and then you can snap some grid lines in to the start of the DA. Okay, new layer, T for my text tool, and then Young. And then what we're going to do is I'm just going to line it up. I'm just using the arrows on my keyboard. Something like that. I'm going to drop the Young below Frankie. There we go, they're young. Press Command H gets rid of your guideline. And then we're going to bring in our scratch texture. Okay, we drop that in. What we're going to do is I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to flip it uh, horizontal. Yep, so we've got this lightness on the other side. I'm going to hold Alt down, and it's going to grow in proportion, just like that. And I'm going to slide it across, just so we've got a little bit of fade, but not too much fade. 
on this side and it's in the wrong place so I'm going to drag it up above the dead right to the top I'm going to change it to go for screen and I'm going to reduce the opacity just down slightly to 60 okay sorry guys um, just a quick edit as well as I finished the tutorial one thing I forgot to do was put a spray paint around the ball so find our ellipse which is just there okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a new layer I'm going to select a new layer I'm going to drag it below the ellipse tool I'm going to hit B for my brush tool and I have got some spray paint brushes yeah we'll go for number two and what I need to do is just zoom in here make sure you've got the flow and the opacity right up make it so it's a nice size around the ball and then spray it in just there and then if you want to do it anywhere else okay you can just add that effect around and then you can also reduce the flow right down one percent and just hit it on so there you go back to the main tutorial and there is our image I hope I've inspired you uh, in today's Photoshop tutorial uh, very something very simple like I said I hope at the beginning that you uh, you paused it and you tried to recreate it yourself and then you could uh, follow the video to see how I constructed it uh, very simple again um, set at the basic level but it's just there just to uh, give you a little bit of inspiration uh, for your own social medias uh, and your own team so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you did please hit like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and it gets the algorithm working and it gets it out there for other people to uh, learn Photoshop so hope you enjoyed uh, today's tutorial and I'll see you in the next one